Hi everyone, I wanted to create a screencast on helping you use todaysmeet.com. So I want us to go ahead and get started by clicking create an account. And once you, you can create an account using Google, you can put your email address, whichever is easier for you. I'm going to go ahead and create an account with Google since I already have a Gmail account. Once you log in with Google, you'll see the selection over here where it says open a new room and you'll allow to create a room. So for today, I'm just going to put PD Monday so we can all um, respond in this PD. And then once you click your room, you can tell your students to write their name. I don't allow them to write nicknames. I just ask them to write their name and click join. And then they can type whatever they would like that's related to the lesson. Now, because we as teachers teach different periods, you're going to have different rooms. So I'm going to show you the different rooms that I have created. You see, I have created for today, PD Monday, as I shown you on my screencast. So you're just going to continue to create rooms for different periods. As you can see, this would be period one for me. Um, period four, period five, and period six. And when students want to log on, you can decide to keep the room open for an hour two hours, eight hours, one day, one week, one month, and a year. Now, when students need to log on to the computer, they do not need an account. The only thing that they will need is the link. So if you go ahead and take a look over here, you would ask students to log on to todaysmeet.com slash Baldwin period six and that would send them to the link so this way they again do not have to create an account and as soon as they log on to the URL that you're giving them then they have access and they can go ahead and get started on creating a nickname and typing I specifically decided to arrange my rooms by period so that it was students in that period could respond to other students. Um, you can decide who can join anyone logged in users or my school. Um, I just allowed anyone to join. This way students didn't have to create an account. I'm going to go ahead and show you exactly what it will look like. So here is the student responses. And I projected student responses on the board by clicking room tools and then projector view. And the great thing about this is you can save student work so it doesn't get deleted. And if a student does decide to write anything inappropriate, you can, you have the option to delete what they write and they don't have the option, students don't have the options to delete what they write. Only you have the option of deleting what they write. So, so as you can see, I got started by asking students to log on to todaysmeet.com slash Baldwin unit. And here's the projector view. So students, I wrote, please respond to the do now and students begin to respond to the do now and this is students in period one regardless of where they were sitting or what table they were in they can all see each other's responses it's a great way for students that come in late to catch up um and it's a great way for students to interact with each other as a whole group 